Okay, so I want to show you how I keep my thickers. They're all in these drawers. There's four drawers. They're like kind of deep and they're separated like this. I could take those out if I wanted to. And then I just put my thickers by color. They're color coordinated. So you have pink, you have blue. And then up here, they're so full. Up here you have red and yellow. And I kind of had an overrun of white. So I have extra white here, but the whites are all down there. And that seems to be working really well for me. Now I want to show you what I actually want to organize today. Okay, so that's how I'm keeping my alphas right now, my tiny alphas. And I want to make sure it worked pretty well, but I find that I'm having a hard time finding, you know, the color that I need and all this stuff. So now I'm going to put you up on my tripod and then we'll get those organized and I'll show you the new container. This is like a wicker container and they're standing up straight and that's the part I don't like because when I put them in a lot of times the sticker will you know catch on another one and it'll pull off some of the stickers so let's get working on organizing those tiny stickers okay so like I just showed you I'm right now I'm keeping my alphas in this container I want to get them out of there and then I found this container in my room. This is part of a recollection um, cube. And I had taken out this because I needed, I didn't want to have to have a drawer pull in and out. I think it was one of the tools that I wanted to put in that square. Plus I thought then I can use this for something else. And these stickers will fit perfectly. So the way that I had them separated before, I had them by color, but then also by company, which really, I really don't care what company it's from. When I'm scrapping, I just want to find the color that I need. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at all these stickers that have come off other sticker sheets. So I'm going to try and find the right sticker sheet for that. So I'm just going to put the blues together and the pinks together, kind of keeping that theme going of keeping my colors together. And then once I have all my blues together, I'm going to make sure that the same sticker sheets are together. Because what I do is when I, you know, if I decide to use those, I'll go to the sheet that has the least amount on, get all the letters that I can get from there. And then the overflow, let's say if I needed an E, there's none here. Well, then I would then get it from here because I'm trying to use up some of these sheets um, just so that, see, that's what I meant about it pulls another color off the sheet. So this goes here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to separate them all by color because that's how I scrap. So it, it only makes sense that that's how I should keep a lot of, so this has a little bit of blue and a little bit, but the color of the alpha is green. So I'll put it with green. A few years ago when I found out that uh, October afternoon was going to close up, I just got a whole bunch of October afternoon letter stickers and for a while they peachy cheap um was you could order the letters from them and it was quite a bit of letters for really cheap so i stocked up and again um you know before i went part-time i was getting a whole bunch of scrapbooking supplies because i knew once i went to part-time um, I wouldn't want to spend as much money on, so I'm, I'm going to do yellow on scrapbooking supplies. And I get to a point, I was like, okay, you have, you have enough stuff. So I think it's been almost three years. I usually get stuff like once, maybe twice a year, like a couple weeks ago, I got some 
uh, supplies. It was a really, really small order and it was mainly, um, mainly die cuts because I found that my die cuts were sort of running low. So, so okay, so then white and gray. And then if you remember, I did for my enamel dots, I did those little tabby um, dividers. And I'm gonna do this for this. I'm gonna go get some 12 by 12 sheets and I'm gonna cut them down to fit in here with a little tab. And then I'll divide these up by color again. So let me put you on pause. Or yeah, let me put you on pause and maybe I'll do those first. And then I can maybe put these into the colors right away. So again, I'm gonna go through my stuff and that's what I did last time. I just went through this and said, okay, let me find all the colors that I really sort of like. I It doesn't matter if it's the same colors as last time. That doesn't bother me. I just wanna make sure that I have all the different colors. So what do I need? I need yellow, I need brown, I need black, black, brown, I need gray. I need a gray. Hickory smoke is a good gray. Um, purple, red, orange, yellow, blue, green. I need a good green. I'm trying to find um, a match for those that when you look at it, you go, you don't go, oh, could that be a blue or like a blue green? No, it's really green. There, mowed lawn, blue, yellow. Um, pink. You find a good pink. Pink. Okay, so we'll start with those. And then if I have some missing, I'll just grab them. Okay, so I went to get some white cardstock. And I'm going to cut it down. I measured the depth of that drawer. And I think five inches will be good. And then I'm going to leave it at the 12 because that drawer is bigger than 12, longer than 12. So I'm going to do four, eight, ten. Okay. So I'm going to do 10 to start with. So just five by 12. And again, I'm going to do some that are left, right, which for left and right, it's the same. And then some center ones. I think I'm really going to like putting my letters like that. Now, I'm not going to put that drawer inside the recollection container. I'm going to leave it the exact same place that I showed you where I kept the other um, container. That's where I'm going to keep this one too. So it'll be easily available. I can just pull that drawer out, find the alphas that I need, and then I can just pick them out easily. That's been bugging me for a while that it's really hard to find the alphas that I, that I want. Or if I find one sheet, then to find the other matching one, because like I said, when it gets slow, then it makes it, uh, I want to use the sheet that is getting low first and then putting them back. I kept, I kept, um, it kept grabbing and then ripping some stickers off. And that was really annoying too. Okay. So let's start. I'll make a few left and right. So there's 10. So let's do five for now. Uh, no, 
I'll do a little bit more because the center, we don't need as many. So I'll do three centers and then the rest I'll do left and right. So I need to keep three centers out. So I'll do seven. One, two, three. Okay, so, and what I do is I punch one side all at once, then I flip it over and I want it to be, there's small, medium and large, so I'll do medium. Uh, the only thing I won't be able to cut it out of here, but that's okay. I'll just cut it on my one of my regular trimmers because I really want the bigger tab. It just won't fit in there. That's all. And that's a okay. So 2020 is going to be the year where I'm going to put some order <laughs> in my life. Uh, I find my scrapbook room is, I mean, it's well organized. I took my time when we moved into this house. Like I just, I'm just looking 10, 11, 12. Okay, so they have for bigger ones. You just can't put it in there. Maybe you can. I'll try it. Um, because they do have the the 12 inch there and there's no stop stoppers there. So we will try that. We're gonna try that together. Um, yeah, I took my time when I moved, you know, when we moved in, moved in, I really divided stuff. It took me forever to unpack. But you know what, there's always, room to improve right so well would you look at that ha huh. yes that's the first time that i use my tab thing for longer than 12 inches so you just have to move it in i should have done that at the very beginning so that it can go right to the end there we go so now i'm going to do this so that it goes right to the end and I'm going to put my little cutter there. Yay! So I was looking last night. I don't know why I thought of that right now, but uh, I'm signed up for Crop and Create. Oh, I know why. Because the last payment was last night. So I paid the last payment last night. And it was like, oh, okay. Holy, that's like coming up real quick <laughs> it's like six weeks away or something like that so it's like whew. okay so i'm going to be i know i did uh not that long ago some page kits but those are for in my scrap room so that i have stuff you know to scrap whenever i'm in my scrap room so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make some more um, pages for crop and create and then you know I'll call it getting ready for crop and create or something like that so you'll know what is what plus I'll, I'll do another uh, playlist there well that's easy I thought that that one there because it was so long that would make it a little bit more difficult but it's not you just go to where you can't go anymore move it in and because it's got you know this the stopper there it's easy to align it again so it's not making a mess which i love and then i'll do the same thing as the last time i'll just use my inks and color part of the tab so that I know my where my stickers are with which tab. And I think on my drawer over there where I have all my um, alphas, I keep forgetting what colors in which drawer. So what I need to do uh, for on the drawer, which is still part of organizing my letters, my stickers, right? 
I'm going to cut because on the drawers there's a little place to put a little tab and what I'll do at the same time as I'm doing this is I'll cut some tabs and then I'll divide the tab in two because sometimes there's more than one color in the drawer and I'll just color it with those inks same as for this and I'll just put it on the drawer. So I'll show you a little clip at the end of this to show you uh, how that looks. So then it'll make it so that I can find those stickers a whole lot easier too. I like the way that they're organized right now. The only complaint, I guess, is that the drawer is, the drawers are so full. But that just means that, you know, don't buy any more thickers because you get enough and use what you have. What I might do with that too is I might um, grab some alphas out of there and then put them somewhere where I use them first and then use the same alphas for a while, which I don't mind because they're all on different pages. They look different. Okay, so the only thing I got to remember is I got to make sure to do some this side and some that side. So I'll separate them right away and then I'll just start with the inks and that won't take long, a few minutes. So let me know. Uh, in the comments down below, like, are you guys organizing? Because I've I've had so many people say, oh, yes, uh, I'm organizing too this year. I, I find that I can be way more creative when my brain, okay, I'm going to take one of these. I want, I want to separate them somewhat. like have sort of an order. I want all my, like what the black, the, the brown, the gray, maybe white. For white, what I'll do is I'll just write white on it. Or I could just leave it white, not color it. I'm just trying to color it in and then now I'll do a center I'll do that one gray and then I'll take one and just do white so yes yeah, so let me know in the comments down below if you're or organizing your room or if you organize your room how do you organize it like do you organize even your paper by color? Someone was asking me, like, why don't you organize all your paper by color? Because that's how you scrap. But because I make page kits, I find that then I would have to take out, like, so many pattern papers. This way, I just grab, like, a stack and I start... Uh, I'm going to write white. I just start putting page kits together. And sometimes I want to put, you know, I don't want to keep it tone on tone. I want to add some other colors. So I just find it helps with my, I guess, creativity of um, finding papers and stuff. So I got four. Now I'm going to do blue, I think. I think my distress inks are all in need of a re-inking. I have a lot of the re-inkers, but I don't have them all. Because for a while I was like, okay, every time I order, I'm going to order, you know, two or three ink re-inkers, but I haven't ordered in like forever. 
And then the last time I just, I forgot because it'd been so long. I forgot that that's, that was a thing that I did <laughs> was order re-inkers when I placed an order. Okay, so another center. In that I'm gonna do purple. But maybe I should, you know, that's something else too that I can, it's not really organized, but kind of take a, an inventory of what I have. And then when I go to crop and create, I usually, that that's one of my times that I say, okay, I can buy stuff. So I think I'm going to do green. Maybe I can buy, you know, a few re-inkers. Because that is something that I use all the time, is my Distress Ink. So I kind of need to be able to re-ink them because they're going to go... I won't be able to use them if they're dry. Ah, come on. That's what I mean, they're so dry. Maybe that can be something that I can do is uh, make sure that I re-ink all those. Okay, what color was that? Yeah, orange, now yellow, and then I'll do pink. Oh, that doesn't look very much like yellow. It's kind of dark. That is one of those that I could go. Okay, let's flip it over. Because again, it doesn't need to be. Super perfect. There, that looks more like yellow. And then I'm going to do pink. Pink. And if I forgot a color, then it's easy. I just have to do another tab. It doesn't take long as you saw. And pink. Okay, so I'm going to push that to the side. And if you saw my last video, you know, there's different ways that you could color those. You could just use stickers. I just, I really liked the Distress Ink. Okay. So yay. So now I'm going to put you on fast forward. We'll divide all the colors and then at the end I'll come back and show you um, in real time how this looks and also you know how I labeled all my drawers for my thickers. Okay so I have to say it didn't take me very long to notice that those tabbed dividers that I made were too small for what I had in mind. Because my stickers are six inches deep, at least six by 12, then that little tab that I made that was five by 12, obviously wasn't going to be big enough. I wasn't thinking, but I'm going to make all my tab, all my tab dividers, and I'm going to ink them with the different color of inks. And as soon as I bring you know, that back in and I put, for some reason, I decided to put a little bit of colors in there. And this is where I'm like, I can't even see my tabs. Like that's not going to help me divide my stickers by color. The tabs are lower than what my stickers are. Now, when I cut my sheets, I did five by 12, five by 12. And then all the sheets had a leftover of two inches by 12. So I'm going to take one of the tab dividers out 
and I'm going to take those two inch trips and I'm just going to use some washi tape and I'm going to MacGyver it back together and that is working good enough like I didn't want to waste a whole bunch of other white cardstock so I just decided that I was just going to use some washi tape tape it back together and it's inside the drawers so nobody's going to see it and I didn't waste extra paper those things kind of happen whenever you you know do something new like that you kind of have to play with it the last time what I did was I did one and then I played with it see if it would fit this time I thought because it was the second time that I used that tab punch tool I you know I knew what I was doing but I wasn't thinking of I measured the height of the drawer but I wasn't thinking of the height of the stickers but thankfully it was easily fixed now I'm going through all my stickers and I'm dividing them by color and then even at that point when I divide them by color then I go through it and I say okay I want to put all my doodle bug designs together the same color I want to put all my October afternoon the same type together and then when I put them in my drawer then I go by size I make sure that the bigger sticker sheet is at the back of the color and then going to the smallest size so this is where I'm like okay you know I noticed right away that this wasn't working but you know whenever I don't know what to do I just work on something that I know what to do and I knew that I want to divide those colors so while I was dividing the colors instead of wasting time you know just sitting around trying to think I was thinking of how can I fix that and while I was separating the colors I thought of a solution by just adding that 2 by 10 at the bottom and adding some washi tape you know those tiny alphas is probably the letter format or the type of lettering that I use the most on my scrapbook layouts. I do use a little bit of my thickers but I have to say that I reach for these for sub subtitles and a lot of time I will just put a title at the bottom of the photo. So let's say the photo is four by six I make my mat on the photo maybe four and a quarter by eight so it leaves me about a two inch lip at the bottom of my photo and I'll put my title there or I'll put an extra um, space beside my fo photo either on the left side or the right side and I'll put my photo there I use those tiny alphas all the time and I really didn't like how they were stored before or stored before because it, it, they, they were hard to get through it was hard for me to find a specific color because I had them divided by company and within that company I had it divided by color but that meant I had one more than one spot where I kept some red stickers and more than one spot where I kept pink stickers I had to go through you know I knew oh I know that October afternoon has some really cute pink stinkers so I could go to my October afternoon pile but a lot of times when I would put things back it didn't always go back where they needed to go because it wasn't a uh, you know it was an okay system but it wasn't a great system but I think that I'm going to love this system a whole bunch another couple tabs that I ended up making was a white tab and I just wrote white on it and multicolor because a lot of the alphas um on a single sticker sheet had more than one color and I didn't want to cut them down I didn't want to cut them in three um, sections or whatever the case may be and as you see here you know some of these I'm using vanilla cardstock I went and got a 12 by 12 sheet and I'm cutting two inch strips so that it matches with the others but that's going to be at the bottom of the drawer so it doesn't really matter and another thing is I chose a washi tape that it wasn't one of my favorite maybe it came like in a kit with a whole bunch of different washi tapes so it's not as if I picked that washi tape specifically but it came in a kit and I really didn't like it so I didn't feel like I was wasting my washi tape although as you know there is always a ton of washi tape on one roll so at least you know that you're not going to run out really quickly 
So now all my stickers were divided, except I missed a few of these littler ones. And I did put some small stickers into this system. And then I'm going to go through my stuff and I'm going to find a whole bunch of littler sticker. And see here, I'm putting a whole bunch of little stickers. Well, I found that it made my drawer really full. And then I thought, well, this isn't going to be fun to flip through. Like it's going to be hard to flip through it to find the colors that I want. So I'm going to end up taking all those small stickers and I'm going to have a different system for my smaller stickers. And I'm going to show you right now what I decide to do with my smaller stickers because I didn't want this to be totally full. Okay, so this is how it looks. I had, uh, as you saw, I had to make these a little taller so they're seven by 12 but I mean I just put some washi tape with some with a two inch piece and it worked perfectly now I did put some smaller stickers in there I kind of this is full enough I don't think I'm going to put any more kind of ran out of room there's still some left over and I don't know I might put them in a drawer with my small I have a drawer with um, small word stickers so I might separate those and put those in there so I still have all this that didn't fit in there then I also had these where I kept these um, daily flash stickers by October afternoon so this is full too it won't fit in there. So, and these squishy letters, maybe I can just have a place for the smaller stickers. Because I think that'll almost fill this up. Yeah, pretty much fills this up. Okay, so I can put this back where it was. And I can do the same thing. Just divide them all by uh, color. So I think that's what I'll do next. But I'll stop the video here because it's going to be the same thing. Just separating all these by color and maybe making a little tabby thing like this so that it sticks out above it. Oh, and yes, I also have to make... Um, some little tabs for the colors for my alphas, my thickers. So I'll do that too. So that's just going to go directly on my, in my scrap room where I kept the other basket. And then that's all, that's all put together. And I think I'm going to like that a whole lot more. So now when I'm looking for pink, stickers I can just grab this and take them all out and find the sticker that I need so I think I'm going to like that a lot so now I'm going to show you what it looks like for my thickers and then that's going to end this or maybe I'll show you too how it looks like I'll just do it off camera but I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done for this one too Okay, so that's how this basket looks. So all the tiny stickers are now in there. Now I did go through the other one and took all the small stickers that I had put in there and I put them in here. So then I'll know that my 6x12 stickers will be in the other one and all my small stickers will be in this. And I really like how it turns out. Now for my drawers, I'll show you how it turned out, but I didn't like the coloring of this with the colors because some drawers had three colors and it looked really messy so I just ended up writing the name like yellow pink and red and then I know that in that drawer the alphas for that drawer are right behind that tab so that's going to work out re really well I really like how everything is all nice and organized and now I'll be able to find the stickers as I need them Okay, so I said that I would show you what it looks like. Nothing fancy, but I'll be able to tell what's in the drawers. 
And that's it. I want to thank you so much for watching. Bye.